Hi guys and girls and welcome back to another video. In this video we're going to be creating the running animation for our game character. In the last episode we, cre we created our uh, idle animation and in the next episode we should be making some armor. So just open up the file that we created last time, the animation prefab file. First thing we want to do is decide a starting pose for our um, running animation and that will probably be for our legs to be up here something like this and our back leg obviously being backwards something like that and of course we have to move our arms according to our legs so opposite arm opposite leg this arm goes up So I think this is a pretty good starting pose. Only thing I want to do is actually kind of move our um, torso a bit forward. I mean rotate it a bit forward. And now we can press A to select everything and I to insert the keyframes. And now I'll go to the re last frame which is frame 31. And then just press I and this should be good. I'll go to the middle part, which is the 16th frame, and now we have to swap the legs. Also, we want to change the arms. Again, press A and select everything. Now, if we play this, you can see that it doesn't look like running. That's because we're missing a few more keyframes. So, I'll go between the leg swap, the first leg swap, to the ninth frame, which is the middle. And uh, if you take a look at how the animation goes, so the left leg is up, and at this point it should touch the floor. So we're gonna have to make it do that. So nine, nine frame, and just move your leg down. Something like this, and we can rotate this foot so it's kind of on the ground. Let me move it a bit down. And now select only these two bones because we don't need the other ones. And press I. And now if we play it, you can see that it kind of touched the floor. It's still missing the other half. So now we'll go to the 24th frame and do the same thing for the other leg. If you press Ctrl and then 3 on your numpad, you'll get the left side of your mesh. And then just move this leg down, maybe a bit forward, and rotate this. And again, take these two bones and press I. If we play it now, you can see that that looks like a running animation a bit more now. Also, another thing that we have to do is whenever the character steps on his leg, his all of his weight is... On, on that one leg, so we'll just take this bone and kind of rotate it on the y-axis, something like this. Press I, go to the other side, rotate, press I. If you play it now, you can see that it kind of changes sides. Also, when they change sides, I want to just maybe move the head a bit. So take the neck bone and move the head on the opposite side. Press I and I, and now play it. That looks much better now. Let's see if this helps. So I'll go to our middle here and then I will delete the torso bones, torso keyframes. So lower chest and I'll delete that keyframe and let's see if that helps. And that definitely looks a bit better. Once our arm reaches the top here, I want to maybe rotate it a bit on the Z axis, a bit but a bit inward, so something like this, and then press just just press I, copy that, and go to the last frame, paste, and again press I. If you're pasting, make sure that your cursor is in the scene and not in the action editor. And then I'll move this arm also a bit like this, and press copy it, press I. Come back to the first frame, paste, copy. Let's see how this looks. Okay, we did it for one arm, now the second arm. So just move it backwards. 
uh, sorry, not move it backwards, but rotate it inwards. Press I, and we will also have to do the same thing here. Actually, we did that one. No, we did everything, it's fine. So play the animation now. If I select all the bones and press hide with H, Alt H to unhide everything and I want to do some things here. So when our arm is uh, up here, I want to take this and then rotate it on the Z axis, something like this. So it's kind of changing direction here. Just press I, copy that, paste it on the last, last frame here. And when this arm is here, just again, rotate it. I, and then display it. That looks very good, I think. So yeah, that's it. That's it for the running animation. Of course, you can always add more detail if you want, uh, but this is very simple for beginners and I'll just keep it like this. It definitely doesn't look the best, but it works. And if you enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe because it really does help me out. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye bye.